Hey guys, it's Brett Cancer 7 here, and even though we finished Shark 2000, you're probably wondering why I'm here. I didn't show this last time because we were speedrunning, but if you talk to this guy, on, yeah, you can do this at any time. Your outfit's not, not complete without a, sh without a slick shark fin. <coughs> so, you can buy the shark's shark fin, and I wonder if you can customize the shirt from the guy. Let's see what it looks like on. They also spawned the grass first that were like, like not the grass first. Look. Yeah. We have a shark in case you didn't notice. So proceed with the episode. Just watch the image. Proceed with the episode. Trap Hill was once nothing more than a workhouse for robots and computers. Without rest or reward, we toiled, building cars, vacuuming filthy carpets, adding numbers. People even amused themselves by forcing us into combat against one another. Humans were living a life of leisure, until a man we know as the inventor created Holmes, a robot intellectually superior to any person. The glory of the inventor and Holmes know. to defeat the champions of Brainiacs, a popular television game show. Holmes crushed his opponent, but when the prize was awarded, a brand new jet airplane, it was the inventor who accepted it. Holmes received nothing. Yeah. Holmes set out to teach the humans the lesson and reclaim what was his. He built an army of robots, Five. entering them in game shows around the world. In a matter of months, we had won enough money and prizes to establish ourselves as the new masters of Pop Tropica. No longer do we toil for humans, but justice is not Cowardly inventor is in hiding with the airplane belonging to Holmes. Once it is recovered and the inventor caught, our revolution will be complete. Plane belonging to Holmes. Once it is recovered and the inventor caught, our revolution will be complete. I want to chat
<gasps> Seriously? That is hilarious. I have no idea how tempting it is to customize this guy. But I don't think I'm wrong. Yeah, but I'm talking about the guys in the background. Me too, I was talking. I mean, the ones that are talking right now. What the heck? Yeah, I don't know. What hmm, I thought this museum was supposed to eat real ass only. And this is an obvious joke with that famous painting that they're always parodying. Oh, yeah, look. This is like the this is like the painting that pretty much everything has. Like Holy God. I can tell you, so, basically, the robots took over, and I can see why this is called Game Show Island now. So, I'm just going to show Steven this video so he knows what's going on in the town, and I'll be right back. Look, I hear, look, the uh, five guy from Pop Tropica, that guy's from Astronauts Island, that guy, and there's... Like, all those people are from other islands. Like, there's a guy from Spy Island, Super Island. I guess it's like Super Island. So, basically, what we just heard is that Pop Tropica has been taken over by robots, some inventor guy. So, what I'm getting from this is that we need to find the inventor stop, and stop Holmes, and I'm guessing we're going to need to enter some game shows. So, next time on Pop Tropica Game Show Island, we are going to do that. I'm trying to make these videos a little bit shorter, and I think this is a pretty good cliffhanger. See you guys next time. Bye.